Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be installing Trillium. It's a note taking app. You can see I'm on the main GitHub page here, and this is an excellent way to organize your notes. In a previous video, we set up Minimalist Web Notepad, which is right here, and you can see it's just a very basic notepad for scratching down things. But if you want to organize your notes a little bit better this is my favorite if we take a look at the awesome self-hosted page you can see all the different options that are available i used to use joplin however i had syncing conflict after syncing conflict after the third time of losing my data i had enough of joplin and I hear this horror story reiterated by multiple other people. So I no longer use Joplin. The one downside of Trillium is if you're in a multi-user environment, it does not support multiple users. So I just want to get that out there right away. It might not be right for you if that's a situation you're in. Now, of course, you can always spin up multiple instances of this for each individual user. But you may not want to do that. You may want to find something with multi-user support built in. But let me actually show you what it looks like with some real data in it. I'm going to show you my personal instance. We'll open up my dashboard here. And for those of you that may want to use this dashboard, it's called Homer Dashboard. And this is what it looks like. So you can see I have multiple nested notes over here. When you click on something, you can see it gives you a little overview of each note. So if I would click into the garage note here, then we have a whole bunch of other notes that are nested under garage with a quick overview. So there's multiple different ways to dig down and organize your notes, which I really love. And there's also this cool note map as well, which gives you an overview that you can easily jump into any specific note that there are tons of settings in the application. We're not going to get into every little fine detail here. That's the brief overview that I wanted to show in this portion of the video. We're going to jump into installing it on our server next from the main GitHub page. You are going to want to scroll down to this bullet point here where it says if you want to install Trillium on server, follow this page. I will just have a link to this page right in the description. And then of course, we're gonna be using Docker to spin this up. And we're gonna use one of these Docker run commands and build a Docker compose file based off of it. Let's SSH into the server. We'll go to our Docker folder, make a new directory for Trillium. See if I spelled that right. Yeah, it's got one L. CD into it again, alt period. We'll put in your last command argument so you don't have to type the whole thing again. And then we'll create our compose file with our favorite text editor, micro. And here we are. So we have Docker run net mynet d port volume. All right, so let's let's start by building this compose file we're going to do services trillium image and we're going to give it this image here actually let's give it this one then we're going to give it a name And then we're going to set our volumes so it looks like we just have this one data volume set a port for it running on 8080 now we have to pick a port that we're not using currently this is always the hardest part for me i really should have a way that i select ports in a more organized fashion so it looks like right now we're using 9443 750 
Let's do whatever my fingers hit, 98, 78, map to 80, 80, and what else do we need to set here? Let's set a restart policy, and let's stop, and if you know me, I just prefer this, network mode bridge, control S, save, control Q. And that should be it. So let's do a sudo docker compose up dash D. And this should download the image and then spin it up. We'll see if it works. And I already forgot what port I put it on 9878. So let's copy this tab, change the port. And there we go. We have Trillium notes up and running on our server for the first time and it looks like we have a few options to go through the setup here so we have I'm a new user and want to create a new Trillium document for my notes sounds like us looks like if you've already used Trillium on desktop you can sync with it or if you have a server instance already you can sync with it so that's good we're going to set a password here And then log in. If I can type. There we go. This is what it looks like for the first time. And some of the default information is nice because it shows you the different layouts and formatting that are available to you. You can see there's ordered lists, unordered lists, um, block quotes, there's code quotes, there's all kinds of different formatting options that are really easy to set. So if we would go here, basically next to any block of text, you will get this little pop up. And this is where all your options are. So you can see you can change it from paragraph to heading, you can select bullet point, list, checklist, quote, code block, table, and an internal Trillium link. So if you want to link to another note, you can easily do so. Can include a note, math functions, notation, horizontal lines, images. What is this? Markdown import from clipboard, find and replace, and special characters. So you can see it's really easy to access to your formatting functions. And you have over here on the left, you have your menu with this is where your main options are, where you can change appearance, different theming options, you can set keyboard shortcuts. different options for your text notes, your code notes, your images. Like I said, this is highly configurable, packed full of features. This is a great application. You can configure your launch bar. So here you can see the visible launchers. So if you want to remove some of these because you do not use them just by moving it up there, so if you don't want these and you want to clean up you're never going to use the calendar. You get the idea. So this is Trillium. Personally, I have never, ever, ever had a sync conflict issue with this. I have never lost my data. I cannot say the same for Joplin. So that is Trillium. That's my favorite self-hosted note-taking app. Let's add it to the dashboard. We'll add it here under Files and Documents. Thank you for watching and you have a nice day.